it's it's one of those areas that everybody has their own personal viewpoint on, and I'd love to turn it over to the, to the DA about that, but I, I think that in general, um, you point out that there is a sort of racial or class or ethnic disparity in how things are policed, and there's sort of two different matters. You know, I look at drugs as a public health concern that has uh, an overlap with things like violence, it has an overlap with, at times, you know, it's sort of like I'm confused why we ever started thinking about drugs differently than we think about alcohol. Uh, the abuse of drugs, the use of uh, illegal, dangerous drugs, even legal drugs such as prescription drugs, are killing people. Number one cause of death, the United States of America last year was overdosed from only one source of drugs, and that's prescription drugs which are illegal. Uh, we had a screening last week where members of the DA's office in New York, Simon Hansen's office, came to the screening uh, in quite in force. And what they're really doing is speaking up against our stop and frisk practices in New York. Because stop and frisk <coughs> is our point. Since I've been DA in LA County, because I changed the policy uh, within 10 days of being sworn in December the 4th, 2000. So that the presumption is you'll not see 25 to life for a non-violent, non-serious new predicate felony. And what my purpose of being here tonight is to advocate people like you and the rest in the audience to discuss that Tell your friends, here's a chance to reform the, the three strikes law so it will not be abused in the future in certain offenses as it has been in the past. This proposal allows for remediation, the opportunity for the original sentencing court when the new uh, predicate felony was uh, not violent or not serious to go back and look at that previous sentence and terminate it. And let the person out. So it can be retroactive. Yeah, it's retroactive for a mediation.